Hello and welcome. I'm going to be running you through another scenario here again today. And you probably found this video if you've had this issue as well. And it's a pretty critical issue with Nanite too. And to be honest, I can't really tell you why this happens on certain meshes and not others. Because in our scene, we had everything with Nanite. But the, it was only the boat that ever caused an issue or had this error. So it... I don't know if that was due to it being so in focus and so close to the camera and still having nanite or maybe because the entire mesh is not nanite then yeah, I, I don't know it's weird uh i wish i could tell you but i do have a fix for it so um yeah this is probably what you've seen on your mesh and it only happens in build which makes you go what the hell uh and that's the real main issue here you know you need to build you need to check you need to build you need to check but with this fix you don't have to do that we we solve it do not worry um i'm also going to show another picture here we have you know other silhouettes even that's are that are being broken down completely and you know if this earlier wasn't your problem then maybe this is and i don't know it just looks really ugly it completely destroys the mesh and as you see it just looks ugly uh and then you also have these holes under uh the boat all all the way on the edges of the mesh so yeah we're gonna jump right in to fix this issue and again it's a very simple fix uh i'm going to shoot out credit to uh Odna for actually finding that we were working for a long ass time to try and figure this out and it was right in front of our nose this entire time all right, and here we are in the engine now, and this is probably how it's going to look like for you if you've also enabled a Nanite support. You're not going to have any LODs because Nanite does this better anyways, also has less draw calls, etc. Just major pluses using Nanite uh, overall now. And it's also what uh, Unreal Engine or uh, Epic Games tell people to do nowadays. Uh, but yeah, as you can see here, none of the edges are screwed with and nothing is really wrong here. You can see the edges. Well, that looks about normal. But if I were to build it, we will have those issues that we saw earlier. And that is because we could see that here it says that there are 58,000 vertices that are fallback vertices. Now, what that means is that once we do fall back or we end up going to the position where the engine thinks, oh, yeah, let's go to the fallback vertices it's going to fall back to 58,000 rather than the actual number that it's supposed to be at uh, which is a good optimization but again if it happens when you're in focus or it happens too much then it can break your mesh so what you want to do for that especially for you know this and then that is completely fine for like landscapes and all that if it if it's in the distance and they're not really in the you know headlights of what you're trying to see or at least if the edges isn't but for this which is a object which is super close to us we want to do a fallback relative error we want to put that to zero we don't want anyone and that's kind of gonna de-optimize the entire nanite process and you see we no longer have you know our, our fallback vertices are the actual number of the vertices uh th that the model has and uh, essentially that's you know going to remove a little bit of the optimization but in turn it's going to basically uh, allow us to to have a functional mesh in the build and hopefully this fixes your errors too and not only is going to fix this error that happens on the sides but it's also going to solve the errors that you might have uh, with rough edges now i also do want to mention that now, what you really might want to do here is put the uh, fallback relative error to a lower value, maybe not cancel it out completely, because that means that you're technically not getting any fallback relative error, aka basically very, very little to none um, optimization on your uh, mesh. But again, at the price that it's going to solve the error. So again, you really only have to do this if this uh is insanely visible to you or if, if it really annoys you whenever you're playing and for us it obviously did because it's very in your face it's right where you're playing and it's also always in focus all you have to do is just lower this value to zero if you want to cancel it out completely or if you just want to 
uh, lower it down further so you don't have this error. This is how you do that. So yeah, hopefully that solves your issues and your errors. And uh, yeah, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if I helped you out. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.